Yep, yeah, I think this is working. Right, okay. Right, we'll start off with you. Just leave it to me. One down. Another one pretty hit. Good work. Keep it up. Back around the corner with you. Okay, and that'll do for you, I think. End the current action. I don't think so. I think it's number of turns that I've actually done. Roger that. Let's move you forward. Kevin the Indestructible! Oh, it's just, you can, you've got not much space, so you just go there. Okay, we'll take you out, man. Alright, and... Entering combat! Yeah, I think that did it. Who are these guys? Let's what is that tank? back up a little bit. There we go. Save our vulnerables from destruction. We're nicely parked inside the, the camp now as well. Okay, so I'm if on. we get this guy, Rosie the Delectable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rosie. Oh, Rosie. There we go. That'll do. Um. And actually, let's let's use you again, shall we? Uh, let's see if we can get rid of that stormtrooper. Not bad. Ain't no stopping me. Come on, there we go. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, okay, ready to go. Right. <laughs> okay, right. And once more. Let's get rid of that stormtrooper. And how many leaders were there? Was there anyone in this unit that wasn't a leader? Man down. Everybody be careful. Okay, and and the current action. We've got one action point left. Let's see if we can get rid of that uh, engineer. No, we couldn't. Come on. End the current action. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's bring back the cute medic. Why not? I just get the feeling this is going to be a touch one-sided, but let's just do it. Now. Nice work. Keep taking them down. I'm not happy taking them down. I just can't. Done. No idea who keeps on putting them up. End the current action. Uh. 
Why haven't I won? Is there someone I missed? Let's do this thing. Right, I think I've killed everyone, so I should be winning. Yeah, they can't get anything down there. Can't get anything down there. Enemy yeah. may be hidden. Be careful. Ah. Aha. That explains a lot. Just leave it to me. The Great Basel Bridge is up ahead. Be ready for their counteroffensive. No, there's nothing there. Okay, I'm going to end end the turn. <laughs> Actually, it might be that the... Oh, we got to take the flag down, haven't we? Yes. Occupy. There we go. <laughs> Wolfstar 76. Valkyria Chronicles. Turn-based. Capture the flag. Yes. It's pretty much what it is, with lots and lots and lots of cutscenes. Very nice. Okay, I don't care that we got a C-ranked mission there. We did good. Well, no, I didn't actually want to kill off another person, to be honest with you, but... Uh... New episode has been added. Right, let's go through these cutscenes, shall we? Yeah, I'm really sorry to hear your bad news there, Mega Racer. Really am. Hey there! You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me. I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oopsie daisy. What? Hey, you can't... Ah, nice to meet you too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the hardest uh, experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story, a good story, and you guys are it. So, you... You're a reporter? That's unfair. Good, I'm a reporter, yes. Okay, they I've smell, all right, but they've been sitting inside a tank that's just had a baby born in it. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. Yes, we're back to the cutscenes, I'm afraid. All right. Okay. Uh, now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, uh, whatever. He'll learn soon enough. No, he hates kids, but in time of war, eventually, you'll eat anything. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. Chapter 4. 
Operation Cloudburst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to like you, Wolfstar76. Okay, guys. The Personnel tab is now active. The Weaponry tab is now active. The Glossary tab is now active. Per personnel Weaponry... Yeah, there's three tabs offer information of the game's cast, the arms they wield, and the things and places that form their world. Open the menu with the F button, and in the tab select, select the resource you would like to read. Your contents are automatically updated as you progress through the game's plot. There's a plot? So check back on a periodic basis. Castlefront Street is now available. The War Cemetery is now available. The Personnel tab has been updated. They've just been crazy. Why are you updating them? Ah! <sighs> okay, right. Um, tab select. Let's have a quick look through these tabs. Uh, personnel. All these people. Ah, here we go. This will make you guys happy. Medic. Medic. Squad 7 Medic, age 17, responsible for securing and treating Squad 7's wounded. She is well loved for her gentle touch, ooer, and selfless dedication. Right, so she's well loved, but nobody knows her name. Uh, um... Rosie. Corporal, age 27. Squad 7 shock trooper, formerly a bartender and songstress. She still bears the nickname Rosie given to her by her bargoing regulars. Oh, yeah, I, can you just imagine that? Well, perhaps it's a surname. Yeah, perhaps Mr. and Mrs. Medic decided to, do, uh, to name her Alice or something like that. But, uh, um... I mean, could you just imagine yourself, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, looking at their bouncing baby, thinking, you know, let's 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 make sure that she gets a decent, a decent, and you know, a proper livelihood. Let's call her medic. Uh, that would be utterly depressing. Okay, right. Let's have a look through uh, a couple of these and then move on. Who 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 would you guys like to see? Okay, I'm going to look at the first two that you asked for. And she is cute. Freesia, okay, Freesia's the first one. And Freesia and Faldo will be the ones. Too late, sorry guys. Freesia York, SWAT 7 Scout, aged 18, called Dancer of the Sands. She roamed the desert as an entertainer until the Empire's attack killed business, driving her to enlist. Doesn't count if you ask before I asked. Um, so, Faldio. Feldio. It is a me, Feldio. Lieutenant, age 23. Tank commander and leader of Squad 1. An archaeology student at the same university as Welkin. His knowledge of history is considerable. Uh... Ooh. Oh, look at those serious brown eyes, ladies. Look at those serious, moody, romantic brown eyes. Enough of that. Let's have a look at Martha's baby. Martha's son, born inside the Edelweiss. That probably accounts for a lot of the smell of battle. On the day Brul fell to the Empire, he is Martha's fifth child. And we can't tell what colour eyes he has. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, tab select. Weaponry! So... Yeah. I can't confess that I'm not particularly interested in that one. Let's move on from that Tab select, glossary, glossary of terms. Let's actually find out what Ragnite is. 
Euro as Europa's primary energy source, this ore has become vital to daily existence. It luminesces with a characteristic blue hue. Somebody ate a Theosaurus, didn't they? When releasing the energy it contains. Mixed primarily in mountainous regions, the raw ore is then refined for use in any number of applications. Though the ore's existence was known in ancient times, it was not until the Valkyrie brought their refinery technology to Europe, uh, Europa that its use began. Not Europe, Europa. It's not Europe. This is not World War II. How dare you suggest these things? Since the Industrial Revolution has become a vital ingredient to human civilization. A surging need for tank fuel and weaponry derived from this ore has recently driven Europa's nations to expand their borders in a growing war for resources. Okay. <laughs> Lions. Oh yeah, that was that flower, wasn't it? Okay. Right. Tab select. Headquarters. Turn to headquarters. Yes. Oh, he's all yours. Okay, squad barracks. Let's see if anyone else new has turned up. Um, oh, wrong place. That's for exit. That's for the people that have already turned up. Command room. See if there's anyone new. Hello, Wilkin. Here to fine tune your squad. I've just got an achievement out of that for some strange oh, reason. There have been some new recruits. You should take a look at the master list. Aisha. Uh, Zari. Okay, right. I'm quite happy with the people we've got at the moment. So exit the command room come back and this does imply that by the end of this we will actually get 20 odd people in this which is a bit scary welcome to your worst nightmare maggots yep yeah, and old lady simmers and mega racer you are amongst friends here and yeah it doesn't doesn't take away the pain but hey if we can just keep the world moving and be happy a little bit, then perhaps it takes the sting off things, yeah? Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots. <sighs> not that one about being cha chased through a field of lobsters by a giant carrot. Please, not that one. Trade all you want. I've got all day. <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to be playing Minecraft in a little bit, so you probably timed it well. Nice to see you, Wallstar76. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Wallstar. Take care of yourself. It's been nice to meet you. Okay, let's upgrade the shock troopers. And... I've got to be honest with you, that lance, that sniper was pretty terrible, so let's give them an upgrade. And I think we'll check, stick an upgrade in the scouts as well. And just split the rest of it up amongst these guys. Mm. What the hell? Okay, there we go, that's got that lot done. Alright, um Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. What? Training field we didn't get all the talking, I obviously did that wrong, okay. Welcome. Yes Train I did. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, Lancers will upgrade. We'll upgrade snipers. We'll put the rest into engineers. There we go. Right. And space. There we go. Are you sure? Yes. You're better than this. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. <laughs> Looks like that session beat a...
All right, okay, now we're done. All right, exit the training field. Come back. Let's go and have a look at Mr. Are uh, read the writing on the wall. Visit the resting place of those who have fallen in battle. Okay, R&D facility. Welkin, bro! I'm stoked you're here, man! Develop weapons. Alright, that sniper rifle was terrible, so... Yeah, that's a good bow. Yeah, we'll have that, thank you very much. Here you... Spare tread, radiator upgrade. Oh, definitely that. We'll have that. Thank you very much. Whew, it's done. This one's perfect, bro. I know it is, isn't it? It's it's really actually that and the drill instructor with his uh, sort of si American sergeant major thing. It's just wrong. Well, sorry, master sergeant thing. Okay, so we got a spare belt, uh, attack support. Oh, definitely have that site upgrade. Here you go, bro. Okay. Body enhancements. That sounds like a good deal. We'll have that. All set for you, bro. It's yeah, it's I tell you honestly, it's it's really. Why is there an exclamation mark there? Oh, because I can't afford it. I I love this 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 team. To be totally honest, all of us are, are just good friends, and there's no bitchiness, and we're all happy with the world. Yeah, we'll have that. Set for you, bro. Yo, dude, totally tubular. Yeah, okay. Get the armor up a bit. No, we can't. We can't get the armor up. Sorry, bro. No. No. Right, well, we haven't got upgraded, and we can't upgrade hand grenades. Okay. Okay, well, let's spend money on the tank. Body enhancements. Can't afford them. Treads another. Might as well upgrade the radiator. Okay, uh, nothing else there. Tax support. Right, uh, it looks like we have bought everything we can afford. We still have money left. Okay, exit the R&D facility. Come back again soon, bro. Castle Front Street. Hey, Lieutenant. Off duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? Sure. I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. Yeah, I'm not entirely certain which I like less here, okay? Her hat or her personality? And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. 
So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this. Out of sight from those government goons. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. Alright, signs of Galleon resistance. In an interview given to the 8th, a spokesman given on the 8th rather, a spokesman for the Central Galleon Armed Forces suggested a massive anti-imperial counter-strike was brewing. Should this come to pass, all eyes will be on how a force that is thus far specialised in retreat can stem the imperial incursion that claimed most of Gallia by last month's end, and now stands before the gates of Randgriz. It seems the militia will join the army proper in its bid to free the capital from a siege, a fear that has persisted for weeks now. They're afraid that the uh, they're afraid of the militia, guys. It's the only way I can read that sentence. Some suggest that this move is due to the army's desire to conserve its own manpower for combat within the city's walls. A very real possibility should this plan fail. Flames of war. The Empire-owned and run Taris news outlet reported on the sixth that Imperial forces have claimed the coastal Federation city of Valua. If true, the Empire would now hold a supply route for Ragnite Transit, greatly influencing their standing in southern Europa. Unlike the northern provinces, Europe, Europa's south lacks for Ragnite, meaning that supplies must be shipped in from elsewhere to sustain the Empire's offensive. The Empire's hold on the Europa's southern coast means that expansion of the conflict to all areas of the continent is more likely now than ever before. The Federation has yet to issue a statement regarding the Empire's alleged seizure of Valua at this time. Okay. And while you're here... Yes, I knew it was too good to be true. Look out someday, right? To put the truth in the hands of the people. But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. So, I... Figured I'd ask you. <laughs> oh dear. I'd make it worth your while. You... I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. Oh dear. See this fat stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. Yes, but now you want a fat stack of notes. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. Uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks a million. Okay. I plan on putting out new editions periodically, so drop by to check it out often. Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. Yes, when you've got cash that you want to get rid of. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. Now, I had to see what happened. Later on, we'll actually have a decision about those, okay? War Cemetery. Paying your respects? Sorry, I suppose that was a foolish question. Hello, my name is Aged. Aged Gentleman. Professional Damien Impersonator. Actually, no, sir. <laughs> I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? Because I like the company. I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That and seeing this much dead <laughs> reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, because regular army just don't wear any. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. 
I see, I see. Squad leader, hmm. Very impressive for a young man. Welcome back, Gurney. I'm still woefully inexperienced. Yes, but some of the young ladies in the squad are going to help me out there. One wrong order from me, and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last oh, war. Oh, wonderful laugh. <laughs> <And again, laughs> Requires some experience, though. Mm. So, do me a favor. Put this tiara on and say something stupid. I wish to feel nostalgic. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now, let's see. I'll teach you healing request today. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Oh no. No, 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 no. Now I can summon the medic. The, you guys won't let me do anything else, will you? Well, what is your decision? Oh, okay. It will cost 6,500 experience in order to learn healing requests. We don't have 6,500 experience, but I think we only need to save up for it. I see. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Mm, yes, I'm, I'm... Buggery is probably going to be involved, but I certainly hope not. Okay, right. I've run through that lot. Okay, uh, let's just do... Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Um... Oh, I've just noticed they've taken the bit off to do a poll. Okay, I'm not going to ask. Uh... Uh, I'm not going to do a poll. Uh, hopefully they'll put that back fairly soon. I'm just going to ask, okay? I'm going to take a five-minute break, and when I come back, I can either do some more of this, or I can go on and play something else. Please bear in mind that there's only about half an hour of the uh, the official live stream left anyway, so uh, basically I'm either going to start um, Agrarian Skies early or start it late. It's up to you, but... Uh, Okay, I'm, I'll be back in five minutes, and I'll see your decision then.